<laughs> so um, we just finished our Saturday night show and as I was going out for my bow, I noticed there was some water on the stage. Um, so obviously I thought, well, I'll avoid that. Uh, it must have been spilt during the, the finale. <laughs> And I want to step over it. <laughs> and I flat my ass. In front of 1,500 people. <laughs> I mean, it couldn't have happened on a Wednesday matinee when there's not so many people in. Skidded on the water. Fell. I didn't do a lot to recover other than standing up, bowing and walking off. And the worst bit is, <laughs> everyone was filming it. <laughs> so undoubtedly, it's going to appear on Twitter. In fact, it will absolutely appear on Twitter, and I'm so confident saying that, that I'll say, here it is now. As soon as I get it, I'll put it online. Here it is. Ah, <laughs> uh, it was so horrific. Oh my God. Oh. And you know, the worst bit is that my cast will never let me forget that. They'll remind me of that for the rest of my life. <laughs> and you know what? Straight after, straight after we came on stage, they all rally around, are you okay, are you okay? But no one said to me, I'm so sorry, I spilt that water on stage. Because someone did. Someone did. And I will find you. I will find you. <laughs> oh, no. No. Oh, what a knob. Welcome to the David and Joe show. Like and subscribe. Yeah. So here we are doing our Christmas promo. Wow. That was bright. Um, in the beautiful Adelphi Theatre. Those of you who might not know, I've done three shows here over the years. Uh, One Man Two Governors, which is my first West End debut, and then Kinky Boots, and now Waitress. And when I was in One Man Two Governors, I used to sit in that seat. D22. Every other night, I used to sit in that seat and pretend to be an audience member and offer a sandwich to James Corden. Uh, and I did that several hundred times. Um, which is why, when I now bow on stage and feel a bit more important, <laughs> just have a little look to D22, just to remember, like, yeah, when you were stood down there and thought, yeah. what might being on the front row bowing instead of being down here waving? I've got a sandwich. What kind is it? Hummus. Hummus? I sat through an hour and a half of What Man's Governors, which, by the way, was excellent, just to deliver that line from the audience. It wasn't even mic'd. Jordan. You're famous. Thank you. Hi. What do you want to say to your yeah. to your public? <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> like the biggest that they do to fit two human bodies. That sounded incredibly suspicious. <laughs> Just to be clear, we're shooting some um, festive promo today, not killing two people. Um, although if Jordan carries on the way he has been, hey, that's one down. <laughs> hey, Jordan. I hate your face. That's not very festive, is it, for a nutcracker? I'll crack you on nuts in a minute. Hey, no. Nah, 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 nah. The David and Jordan show could be. Could be. I'm holding auditions. Wouldn't want to do that. What together, would you think you would bring to the David and Jordan show? Uh, more northern. More northern. Strong. And that's that's it. That's just more northern. <laughs> just so I'll be doing the content, and you'll be just offering us mushy peas. Yeah, and gravy. What's what's your favourite northern <laughs> delicacy? Gravy. Gravy. Chips and? Gravy. Yeah? Curry sauce? Gravy. Mushy peas? Gravy. What about a pie balm? Would you have a pie in between two slices of bread? Uh, I've never had one, but I would. Cut to me trying the most northern things we can find. It's really good, is that? Isn't it amazing what Christmas can do? Christmas. 
Lucy Jones has arrived. Hold the banana. <laughs> How are you? Where you been? Teach him. Teach him? Mm -hmm. What are you teaching? A vocal masterclass. Oh, okay. What's your top tip? Breathe in. <laughs> Hope for the best. <laughs> Scream. <laughs> That's great advice, people. The amount of money those people pay for that masterclass and you just got it for free <laughs> right here. You lucky folk. I like that though, when people say, you got any tips for people wanting to make it into it? I always say, run in the other direction, really <laughs> fast. Oh, hang on, Jordan's here for the David and George show. Oh. Yep, what, we've got to do some work. <laughs> I'm the official behind the scenes chap. Chap. <laughs> here it is, guys. The close up of the pie you've all been talking about. Oh, the special effects on this vlog. What was it called? Jenna's Holly Jolly Christmas Christmas Pie. Christmas. Christmas Pie Pie Christmas. It was good. I thought so. Happy Christmas from, all, from all of us at Waitress. And a happy know. new, happy new year. When I get an ear infection, Lucy Jones. <laughs> what, from fake snow? From fake snow, getting lodged in my <laughs> ear for three really weeks. That would be really quite special. I can get ear infections anywhere, actually, Lucy. <laughs> I can do anything. That's that's from our house. These are from our actual from house. house. Yeah, I brought them in today. Hello, I'm Lucy Jones, and today we're filming a little video. This is the best Welsh accent I've ever done. That was actually racist. <laughs> Racism <laughs> is not good. Do it, David Hunter. Hello, my name's David Hunter, <laughs> and I like cups of tea. We're supposed to be working, Lucy. Grow sorry. up, please. I'm sorry. Do you want to win Jenna's Holly Jolly Christmas Christmas Pie Christmas? Just enter our competition at Waitress London and you'll be in with a chance. Terms and conditions apply. What does Lucy Jones get up to backstage? <laughs> I just eat. She just eats. If I'm off stage, I'm either changing my clothes, peeing or eating. Sometimes all three. Yeah. Nom, 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 nom. Sound effects may have been added afterwards. So here we are backstage at, at Waitress London. Here's a guitar that we break every night. It costs us a fortune. These are top of the range uh, Martin acoustics. Uh, they cost about two, three grand a guitar and we smash one up every single night. <laughs> it's coincidentally why Waitress London is closing. We really should have thought that through. What else have I got to show you? We've got all the pies up here. Pineapple upside down pie, very famous pie. Here's the wedding pie up close. This is nice, isn't it? You haven't seen this before. Here they are, Hogan Dawn. And to be fair, we've had four rogies now and he doesn't really like any of them so i think they should literally change it for a little model of the person who's playing it every single time is that more sort of is that more laura or hannah <laughs> let us know look at that it's all fake it's all fake like hi and welcome back we're here with x factors and eurovision's own lucy jones so lucy please tell us your time on the x factor tell, tell us a little bit about it was it was it high pressure did were you stressed the reason everyone cries all the time is because they make you get up at like six in the morning <laughs> that you work all day and then they film interviews with you at like 2 a.m the following day so you're just knackered and you're like yeah. I, I did a much smaller talent show called Superstar and I, I remember after when it finished feeling quite depressed because I was kind of got used to that adrenaline oh, high because all the time. it was over. And it's nothing like X Factor. I mean, the pressure and the scrutiny you will have been under was vastly bigger. No, but, but it's like, the same. It's the same thing. You're putting yourself out there, aren't you? Yeah. It is the same thing. Well, it just became very important. But no, I felt afterwards, I remember I got home to my mum's house and she opened the door and I just went, my mum said it's like it's the most where she got worried that I might be depressed because yeah. she was like, I was so quiet because I, I, I was just it. so used to the the high of it. It is addictive as well, and it's such a high because it's not just the song and the audience that you're with; it's the cameras and the TV, yeah. and then you go home and you watch it again. And, and yeah. you're getting all the tweets and attention and all those things. He go. loves tweets and attention. <laughs> this one. I'm in charge of the cameras. <laughs> My one. Get your own show. <laughs> Remind us where you came next. Friday. So I came eighth. I, I went out in week five. You I didn't was, come eighth. I did. I didn't mind you came like third. I came third. You came third? No, I came eighth and I was in the bottom two with Jedward. Jedward got saved and I went home. They're very talented, Lucy. I don't think you need to worry about that. They They're are. very talented. They are. Do you know what? Genuinely, I can say about them. They worked so damn hard. No, oh, bless They them. really did. They worked really hard. So I went back to the house and Jedward helped me pack. Oh, you smuggled. No, in a really nice yeah. way. They were very sweet. Do Edward, you want me Edward, to put your things away? Edward literally <laughs> cried. I was really sad, really depressed. And then the next morning, actually I was that night, I was really, really blue. And then the next morning I woke up and I went and you did like GMTV or whatever it was at the time. Live so, and kicking. Yeah. <laughs> miss it, miss out. <laughs> oh, um, bring it back. So you had a meeting with your manager? You go and have a meeting with the management company that you're given to and they say to you, this is what you're going to be doing oh, tomorrow so and the next day and the next day and the next day. I think it's a bit different now. Yeah. But at oh, the okay. time it was before the recession and it was almost Christmas time. So there's loads of like huge office parties and charity events and stuff. Is that what it got you doing then? Like Every public appearances? Day, yeah. yeah. Right. Gosh, that's Bought my house. 
Did it really? Mm -hmm. Gosh, didn't know you owned a house. Well, it's flat, but. <laughs> It's only a flat, isn't it? K mate. It's only a flat. It's only in flat. They give them away, basically. Is there any truth in that thing that, like, if you go out to show, you have to kind of stop your singing career in terms of you can't release things for a certain amount of time? Or oh, how does it work? Um, well, I wanted to do theatre. But I always wanted to do theatre, but I didn't get into any theatre schools. So that's why I auditioned for X Factor. Okay. And Who's laughing now? <laughs> Not <You>. me. <laughs> I'd laugh, though. I'd work on the laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Who's laughing now? <laughs> God. So then we went on X Factor tour. As soon as the tour was finished, I auditioned for Les Mis and I got it and that was my first job. The show finished in December and I started at Les Mis in April. And then you were on the, that musical theatre road that you wanted to be in? Yeah. So was it strange to watch it the following year, kind of having been in the machine? A little bit, but because I was working, because I was at Les Mis, yeah, yeah. I never was home to like watch it and dwell on it. Mm. So we had a telly in our dressing room at Les Mis and we used to kind of watch bits of it. Yeah. What show but, were you in again? What was it? Uh, Cats. Sure, she said Les Mis. So, yeah, the following year you watched it and it was alright. Yeah, I watched some of it. I never missed an episode of it before I did it. I watched it, like, so religiously. Yeah, yeah. And then the following year I did blog for a um, well-known magazine website. And names because I got sacked. Um, because I was, what, I used to do, like, a live feed. I'd sit and I'd answer questions from people. And, and there was the year they brought in the Six Chair Challenge at boot camp. The first year I saw that, I remember being like, this is horrific. Oh, I, see, I could never And they never were really trying that. to, like, eke out the stress of it and mm -hmm. I've kind of thought this is almost like abuse now yeah and I was just sat at home watching it and I went oh my god and I was like going mad and then they never asked me back so they, oh gosh did you swear <laughs> did you <laughs> hi, hi Jordan. Jordan hi can we uh, talk through some fun sucker <laughs> it's just <laughs> we were having a great conversation my ex oh, and now you want us to do some work Sorry, we'll continue this chat later just to finish off this story with Lucy Jones about my post superstar depression that I felt. Oh yeah. It, it was only broken about a month or two later. I went to the Lake District with my best friend Danny and we shared a tiny bedroom together and about 11 o'clock at night he broke wind louder and harder than I've ever witnessed before in my life and I thought ah, yes I'm back home. Life is good again. So guys if you're ever trying to help your friends out you know they're having a tough time farts are the answer. Isn't it amazing what farting can do <laughs> so this is us finishing <laughs> finishing you off. You have nothing on you. <laughs> the snow didn't reach me. It looks good though, doesn't it? Um, this is us finishing off our, our Christmas, uh, Christmas promo. Ad. I hope you enjoy seeing it. As my battery is about to run out, I think we'll say say cheerio. But we'll be back with Lucy Jones Merry one day Christmas. soon. Merry Christmas. To catch up on her well. X Factor story, because I want to know more about it. Do you actually? LJ, is anyone call you LJ? Quite a lot of people. Did he? Yeah. All the best, chaps. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> 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 no! <laughs>